audio jungle. So we are gonna do a little video here to talk about addition, how to add, how to add large numbers. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna point out to you is if I were gonna add two large numbers, so um, there we go, 653 uh, plus 57, when I go to add, it's really important to line up the numbers in such a way that the same types of numbers are always adding with the same types of numbers. Now, a lot of people will just tell you, oh, just line up at the right. But I'm not going to say just line up at the right because um, later in math we'll see some examples, namely when we start decimals, where we don't add up at the right. And yet it always seems like these numbers align right. So what am I talking about lining up? I'm just saying that in addition, you can only add the same type of thing. And so basically we learned that the rightmost number here um, is what we call the ones place. And so I'm going to line up the ones with the ones and the tens with the tens and the hundreds with the hundreds and so on and so forth. And this, if you understand it like this, that the same kind of numbers always add together, that's really going to carry you through uh, further into math when we start talking about algebra, we do decimals, we do fractions. Really important to understand that. I say adding is like the army. This is my way that I remember it. Everybody marches in straight rows. It's all straight rows, and we line up according to type. Okay, this is the only new thing I have to say about addition. Besides that, we're just going to go ahead and add. So, um, I'm actually not going to start with adding this problem. You guys are going to think I'm silly. Let me start with a slightly simpler problem. So let's do 21 plus 543. 543. 21 plus 543. People ask me all the time, can I change the orders of the number? The answer is yes. Order does not matter with addition. You may change the number. So we can put the longer number up top if it makes you happy. And we'll put the smaller number on the bottom. And once again, notice my ones line up, my tens line up. Five is the only number in the hundreds place. I'm going to go ahead and add. And when we add, we're going to add from right to left. Okay, so starting at the ones place, one plus three is, of course, just four. Two plus four is six. And then my five is adding to, there's nothing here. So whenever you see a nothing, that's like there's a zero. So five plus zero is just five. So I get the answer 564. That one's pretty simple. Let's look at a slightly harder example now. Okay. This is my new favorite color pen, guys. It's really pretty. It's like a wine. I don't know. So 689 plus, oh, I don't know, 675. Okay. So let's add these two numbers. So once again, I'm going to make sure they line up at the ones place here. And I always write this. I know a lot of you guys are lazy, you don't write your symbol there. But the reason why I write it is because when I mix up all these problems, um, people will sometimes add when they were supposed to be subtracting and vice versa. So develop good habits, write it down, guys. So I wanted to talk about what happens when we carry. 9 plus 5 is the number 14. Now, we can't just write 14 down here. That doesn't work because we're only allowed one digit at a time. So what we're basically going to do is notice this 4 in 14 is a 1. But this 1 in 14 is in the tens place. It's worth 10. And so what we're going to do is instead of leaving that 1 down there, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do what's called carrying it. So we're not going to write the 14 down there. What we'll do instead 
is we're gonna write it this way. The four will come down, but the one is gonna get carried up into the tens place because it's really a 10. Okay, it's not really um, a one. So there it is, 14. And now we'll add this column with this one added. So eight plus seven is 15, plus one is 16. Again, I'll drop my six down and my one up. Some of my students, especially my dyslexic students, mix up which number goes where. So you'll notice even though one's on the top and one's on the bottom, it's still in the order to write 16. One, six, okay? So left to right, let me just erase that. So 16, six down, one up. And we'll try again, six plus six is 12 plus one is 13. Now this time I broke my own rule and dropped the one down, why? Because there was no more columns to carry it into. So there you go, 689 plus 675 is 1,364. One of the cool things about addition, guys, is that addition is the one operation where we can add a bunch of numbers at the same time. We can't do it with subtraction, we can't do it with multiplication, we can't do it with division. Addition is unique in this. I could actually take a long line of numbers and add them all up. And so I'm gonna put all these numbers together to add them. And again, I like to put the longest one on top. And we said order does not matter with addition, so I can put them in any order I want. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna put 1,225 on top. And then I'll go ahead and put um, 876 below that and uh, 54 and 73. Again, doesn't really matter what order they're in, but a lot of us prefer to have those longer numbers up top. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this. And notice, once again, all my ones are lining up, all my tens are in a nice orderly row, my hundreds are together, and there's my one number in the thousands place, okay? So five plus six is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and the eight drops and the one carries into the tens place. And again, three and seven make 10, there's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and two and eight to make 10, 11, 12, two down, carry the one, and one and one make two. So the answer to this is 2,228. The Quizlet set that you should check out if you'd like to practice some multi-digit is 1.5B multi-digit addition. You've got to be really skilled at this concept before you move on. If you guys aren't good at addition, you should definitely give it a try.